Hey everyone. So as you know, Jordan and I have been desperately trying to get our, our Flint reporting out, our latest Flint reporting that shows that governor, former Michigan governor Rick Snyder uh, covered up a lot, buried evidence. Um, he and his team are apparently very complicit in what happened to, to Flint. So uh, I don't need to go over everything, but here are the top bullet points. Phones belonging to top officials were erased in 2015. Top officials in the Governor Snyder um, administration. Phones belonging to top officials with the State Environmental Department were allegedly dumped off at the State IT Department, wiped clean. Governor Snyder himself refused to hand over key documents to Flint water criminal investigators. Governor Snyder's top advisor, Richard Baird, interfered with the criminal investigation. State officials were pressured to hold back the public release of certain emails and documents. The list goes on. So Jordan was here uh, a few days ago, right in front of this very building here in Detroit. So the Detroit News, the Detroit Free Press, for some reason in the same very fancy building of which I, I have interior shots as well. And um, same old story. Jordan wasn't able to get in uh, when he came. I got into the building this time, but the security guard, she was very lovely, uh, very nice. But she also, you know, she wouldn't let me up to drop this information off. journalist and here to um, give some of our reporting to the Detroit News and the Free Press. Um, so it's, it's on Governor Snyder and Flint, the Flint water crisis and so we've spoken to editors before. It's already published so just dropping off the um, AP, the House Oversight Committee. Investigation. Yeah, ideally though I could see one of the editors. Um, I don't remember which one we spoke with off the body. Oh, do they? Okay, to the newspapers? Yeah, sure. Um, and that's not on her. That's a, clearly a policy. So I uh, was able to leave one of our documents with her. And I, I told her what the story is about. I, I, Told her what you know that our contact info is on the, on the front page there, and she said she'll contact the, the property manager and and uh, try to get this up to the news organizations. But why is it? Why are they in this ivory tower? Like, why is it so hard to get news organizations who know the story? Who know what's happening? This is not like they haven't seen the story. Why is it so hard to get them to cover this? Governor Snyder uh, and his officials, his administration, got rid of evidence related to the Flint water crisis where a lot of people died and a lot of people are sick and it's impossible to get it to the Detroit Free Press.